The Bornean orangutan is a very cute, loving, and friendly species. The average male weight is 60 to 90 pounds and can get up to 3 feet long. The average female weight is 40 to 50 pounds and can get up to 2.5 feet They live from 35 to 45 years of age in the wild and can live up to 60 if taken care of by a human. Male orangutans can grow a beard and a mustache when they become adults. Some also grow cheek pads and throat pouches. The word orangutan comes from the Malay language and means person of the forest from the word orang meaning people and hutan meaning forest. They eat 400 types of food, about 60% of it comes from fruit. Females will only be receptive to mating if the male has developed cheek pads or jipec, which usually occurs when the male reaches his 20s. Orangutans make umbrellas out of leaves when it is raining. Orangutans live in Indonesia, Malaysia, and the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. As many as 8,000 orangutans died in a forest fire during 1997 through 1998. Baby orangutans are also taken from their mothers to be sold as pets. Aside from donating to the many orangutan charities around the world, there are many other things you can do to help save the orangutans on a day-to-day -day basis. For starters, avoid purchasing tropical or exotic plywood and hardwood, palm-based products, and rayon. 45,000 to 69,000 are left in the world, so please help them today. How does toothpaste affect orangutans? <laughs> Is toothpaste somehow made out of orangutans at all? Maybe orangutans are using uh, toothpaste now. You think that's creating a shortage? Oh, probably. How does toothpaste affect orangutans? Ah, uh, good question. Not Belize, Peru has a uh, type of mint that grows beneath the bushes and circles around a, uh, a type of mushroom that allows uh, orangutans to have a fresh smelling breath for toothpaste. Could be. Could be. I don't think toothpaste goes near orangutans. <laughs> Always wanted to do that. <clears throat> toothpaste contains a lot of ingredients. There are active ingredients, usually a fluoride, and inactive ingredients, which may include abrasives, binders, flavors. Oh, this, this one's not right. Moisture retainers, even sweeteners, and a sudzer, usually sodium lauryl sulfate. Now, sodium lauryl sulfate is a chemical-sounding name, but it is a natural product. Almost all of our sodium lauryl sulfate sudzer comes from palm kernel oil, from palm trees, on the other side of the world. Whenever you see a food or cosmetic product that includes the ingredient vegetable oil, you can bet that there's some palm kernel oil in there. So what's this have to do with orangutans? Well, our passion for palm oil may be driving them to extinction. There's so much demand for palm oil that rainforests in Malaysia and Indonesia are being converted into palm plantations at an alarming rate. A UN report says 98% of those rainforests will be gone by 2020. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a lot about the Bornean orangutan.